Thank you so much. I would love Infinite Intelligence to support me in juicing up the, my process of receiving um, a beautiful baby. Do you think that you already have momentum going about it? Yes. And does it feel to you that the momentum is about knowing that it is coming? You're not asking for energy to overcome something. You're asking for it, then why? I'm noticing the momentum because I'm rendezvousing uh, with um, many babies right now and with the ch um, children around me. And yes. I've no I'm noticing that many things are getting into place. Yes. And I just wanted to use this opportunity to uh, milk it a little bit more. Well, the reason that we ask the question is because often we are asked to talk about something, get momentum going about something because there isn't momentum going. And when that is the case, and we're not saying this to you, we're saying it because the subject is falling on many ears at the same time. It's an important distinction. In other words, we tell you that you are deliberate creators and we encourage you to be deliberate about what you think about. And we encourage you to say what you want because you get what you think about and you get what you speak about. And so we encourage you to be deliberate about the things that you say and the things that you speak. And then we say to you, but what you really want to do is practice the art of allowing because you've already asked and it has already been given. And now you're wanting to find a vibrational avenue to let in what you have asked for. And so sometimes those who are working at becoming deliberate creators are confused about, well, Abraham, do you want me to be precise? Do you want me to script? Do you want me to write in my notebook? Do you want me to be deliberate about what I want? Do you want me to talk about what I want? Or do you want me to give it a rest? Do you want me to be silent about it? Do you want me to focus on other subjects? I don't know what you want me to do, Abraham, because sometimes you say one thing and sometimes you say another, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this deliberate creating. And we say, first and most important, we want you to be aware of what receiving mode you're in. If you are in the receiving mode, if you are tuned in, if you are in a place of feeling good, if you are in a place where the vibration of your vortex and the vibration of you are one in the same so that you stand there in the receptive mode of what's there and you're listening for and feeling for what your vortex knows about what you want, then increase the momentum, increase the concentration, focus upon it, say as many words, do as much as you can, as long as you're in that state. But if you are in the receptive mode of feeling a little vulnerable or feeling a little bit of irritation or feeling a little bit of envy or jealousy, if you are picking up on some other vibration other than the one that is coming from source so that you're wanting to overcome that, then that's not the time to increase the conversation. Say as little as you can. Think about it. Not at all. Turn away from it. As Jesus said, turn the other cheek, give your attention to what you do want rather than to what you don't want. And so we think that this is a particularly good time to do this. It's always better as the events have been unfolding for a number of days. For the most part, you all are as much in the receptive mode as this voyage has encouraged you to be. This is a good opportunity for you to think about the things you want and add more power to them. But still, we would always begin in very general terms rather than specifics. We would speak in terms of what we already know to be. How do you feel about this magnificent planet into which you are welcoming this new energy? Great. I think the planet is so beautiful and so in such a stable place, even if it's finding its balance. And so that's a good place to start. We wanted to feel you out before we move too far in it because there are a lot of things that are happening and there's a lot of attention that you could give. But as you start in that stable place of acknowledging that we are here as extensions of source energy and so will be this child. And because of this powerful stability of non-physical, all is really well with us at all times, whether we know that it is or not. 
I look forward we're speaking from your point of view I look forward to being a welcoming encouraging energy of non-physical into this physical time and place and I understand that it is my job as I am encouraging this new focus this new focused energy this new focused consciousness I understand that it is my work to demonstrate through the clarity of my own example as much stability in every moment as I can which means the promise that I'm making to this relationship that is not new but that the momentum is picking up on the promise that I make to this relationship is that I will do me I will create my own reality I will create my own reality I will appreciate the reality that others are creating around me and while I may not understand the realities that others are creating I encourage their creating of their own reality and I am appreciative of the variety of realities that they choose to create I will do my best in every day as I'm looking close around me or more broadly around me or even globally or universally around me I will do my best to demonstrate for my child my appreciation of everyone who is experiencing life here with all of us I will not go off into a corner with one group or another where my strongest focus is to push against whatever I may think they are doing instead I will peruse the variety of what I am living and from it I know that it will give to me as the same thing will give to my child it will give to me ideas of expansion that will be thrilling to me and it is my powerful intention to give my undivided attention to the things that I am choosing from all of the variety that surrounds I will be one who is not limiting I will not be a guarded one I will not be saying watch out for that or watch out for them instead I will make my choices but I will make my choices in terms of what I seek not what I don't want and while I know it is a natural consequence of life to see plenty of what I don't want I also understand that it is a natural consequence of life that when I see what I don't want I will know what I do want and I understand more clearly now than ever before that it is on that basis that all energies come forth into this physical environment no one comes forth with partisanship no one comes forth with a determination to be one way and push against all others everyone comes forth understanding that this is the law of attraction this is the law of inclusion and while it does not mean that all things must be included it does mean that what I give my attention to will be included so I'm going to practice every day of my life experience including those things that feel good to me meaning I'm going to choose those things that my inner being already has chosen as those things that are uplifting in nature I'm eager about all who come forth into this environment I'm not only eager about this one that is coming forth or these many who are now coming forth I'm eager about all who have already come forth because I know in every day there are new opportunities for new mixing up of opportunities and mixing up of interaction and mixing up of intentions to give birth to new intentions I know that every day is a birthday in fact in many moments in my day I'm giving birth to more and more and more and I'm understanding that just like like a fetus coming forth and evolving and expanding and getting ready for birth that all of these things that are in my vortex are the same that I've set into motion so many things that I'm in the process they are in the gestation stages and I'm in the process of giving birth to them this new concentration on this subject will give me an opportunity to feel more like that about more things that there are some things that just are not ready to be born today and some things that I really do not want to be born today and there are other things that are ready to come out into the light of the day they are ready to be received by me and to be acknowledged by me and to be adored by me and so I'm so appreciative of this thought process that I'm upon because I'm understanding that as I stand as someone who is ready to receive something that is magnificent I understand that 
the receiving is really not just my receiving on the behalf of someone else but that that someone else is putting me in a position to really understand what receiving truly is I want the whole of me to receive this new energy I want the whole of me to welcome this energy I want all of me to be present to watch the growth and the expansion of this I want to be eager for what's coming even though I don't understand what it is I want to stand in stability never fear I want all of my guidance to come from my knowledge of well-being I want to be a parrot of what my inner being is saying I want to be one who is pronouncing well-being every day of the life of everyone that I'm coming into contact with I want to be a promoter of well-being I know that I was born as a promoter of well-being I can feel that I am now completely a promoter of well-being and so now I'm ready for this now that I know for sure that I know the difference between promoting well-being and pinching it off now that I know the difference now that I I've awakened within myself my awareness of my own guidance system now that I understand how the laws of the universe work now that I understand that this is a universe that is based on attraction and that there's never any exclusion that everything is calling to oneself now that I understand all of these things and now that I've had this opportunity to practice it and now that I know through the clarity of my example and I know through the things that are unfolding in my life the readiness of that which I am now I proclaim to all that is I am I am now ready I am now ready to be the welcomer that I was born to be yeah. and you are and you are we would like it if you would all prepare yourself all day every day for the next one you will welcome into your experience not just the new ones those that have been around for a while too yes 